Ohada. I'm Matthew Nanky, and I'm Australia's number one feminist. But what can I say? I just understand women better than most broads. I'm like a male Mother Teresa, a real Jesus slash Kanye type. I'm a saint. Now I know what you're thinking. All you men are scum, you sexist pigs. Oh, okay then. Well, what's the dictionary definition of feminism? Feminism is about women banding together to take down the male patriarchy. Girl power. <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Feminism is the advocacy for women's rights on the grounds of gender equality. And if you just learned that from me, I'm more of a feminist than you. But I'm not gonna lie, becoming a feminist wasn't the easiest move to make. It just seemed like a lot of angry women yelling at me saying, All you men are scum, you sexist pigs. Wow, she must be on a period. But I gotta be real here, I'd be pretty pissed off too if I was getting paid less money for doing the same job as someone else just because I was born with a vagina. So let's be real here, ladies. Thank you for not stabbing me. But I'm all about gender equality. And my actions speak louder than words. For example, I let them carry the heavy stuff back from the shops. I let them buy me drinks at the bar. Two cartons, thanks. That'll be 14 a please. Sorry, mate, she's got this. And I let them pay for dinner. That'll be $17.95. Dory, mate, she's got this. You know, to empower them. Now I hear a lot of angry men saying that women shouldn't get equal pay because of maternity leave, which would be a good point. But what if a chick never has a kid? That means she spends a whole life working for less and never gets the pay back. And if I was a woman, it would make me think that I should probably have a kid. You know, for financial reasons. And if there's one thing that this world needs less of, it's disgusting children. Ew, yuck, gross. Now look, if you're an anti-feminist man and want to get rid of feminism for good, I'll tell you how to do it. What you need to do is join feminism, help the cause get women equal pay, and then by its definition, it would no longer exist. That's right, equality straight down the line. Everything you hear a woman complain about after that would be measured by their laziness and inability to succeed with equality. Think about all the arguments you win. And then man and woman can join together in protest at Parliament House, chanting, Maternity leave for men too. Maternity leave for men too. Maternity leave for men too. Now I know by this point in the sketch everybody watching this probably thinks I'm some kind of perfect Jesus type character who is way too sexy for his own good. And you'd be right for thinking so. But I kind of stuffed up being a feminist the other day. Me and this broad got back to my house and I opened the door for her and I said, Ladies. What do you think this is? The 1950s? I can open my own door, you chauvinist pig. So I bit my tongue. Because what she didn't know is that I opened the door for everybody. Women, men, children, old people, midgets. Because if there's a guy with a knife behind that door, they can deal with it. And I can run away to safety. And it's not because I'm a coward. I'm just all about equality. Also one time I said all the stuff that I've said in this sketch at a comedy show. And at the after party, this chick came up to me and said, Very funny, but you are not a feminist. When all I had done was stand up on a stage in front of a large group of people and try and convince a bunch of men to join the feminist movement so women could get equal pay. So maybe she's right. Maybe I'm just a feminist by its definition. Later on in the night, I really wanted to walk up to her and have a talk to her. You know, not to tell her that. Just to thank her for not stabbing me. She was probably on a period. Hi, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I have heaps of these videos on my social media pages. That's Matthew Nanky on Facebook, The One True Nanky on Instagram, and Nanky on YouTube. If you could like, share, follow, and subscribe, that'd be sick titties. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm Matthew Nanky.